Well, I suppose it was only a matter of time. I set up the tent. And not long after I set it up, I heard a big snap. And the tent came collapsing down. So, um, I had noticed, I think it was this morning when I took the tent down, that one of the poles, there were some cracks in it. So I think this tent just can't handle being set up and taken down continuously every day. Um, I'm gonna, when I am in Seattle, I'm going by REI to return it and hopefully find something a little better, um, something a little more durable yet still lightweight that I can uh, carry with me without it being too heavy, but something that can be set up and taken down nightly, daily, um, can handle all different types of weather. And so um, I'm going to try to repair it. I've already taped up one end of that pole where I saw a little crack. I'm going to try to tape that up. Hopefully it will hold and uh, last a few more days until we make it to Seattle. Um, it's kind of, I think, after a couple thousand miles now and three months and things have to start, you know, being watched a little more carefully. Uh, my back tire on the, the trike is... probably can't see it but it's bald so I have to replace that then I noticed when I was looking at these two tires on the trailer um, let me see if I can find some areas I noticed today that there's like bulges right there probably uh, can't see that but um, and those those tires probably aren't the highest quality they came with the kit the trailer kit they've you know got a lot of miles on them so I purchased a couple new tires for the trailer and then dogs see another doggy so then we're going to replace the tires and um, just kind of a lot of little maintenance that has to be done and uh, to keep staying on the, you know, stay on the road. But uh, definitely going to try to fix the tent and the tires today and maybe clean it. I picked up some, some lube and stuff to try to clean everything and keep everything oiled and running smoothly. Well, that's going to have to do for now. Gorilla tape. You can tell it's kind of still not the tightest. I did wrap it tight, but it is the tape is flexing a little bit. I did contact Mountain Smith recently because I found a couple small holes in the tent. Um, so, and sounds like they're just content to let me uh, return it to REI. Hopefully in a few days when I'm at the REI in Seattle, I will be replacing this tent and uh, finding something a little bit more durable, um, but yet not too much heavier or take up too much more space. So I'm going to finish setting up and get busy working on the tires, get something to eat, and get to bed. Well, there you have it. New set of wheels on the, uh, the trailer. These are from Bell, and apparently they have Kevlar lining. 
I put in new tubes as well with the uh, from Bell, but they're the type they have some sort of fluid in them. Um, hopefully they work better than the other tubes that had the slime in them. So yesterday I went in, picked these up um, for the trailer because the other tires, like I said before, they were starting to show little bulges, you know, in certain areas. So, you know, they lasted 2,000 miles, over 2,000 miles. We'll see how long these last as we continue this journey. Um, trailer is loaded up. Dogs are just sitting waiting for me. I still have to replace the back tire. Um, but I'm going to wait until maybe I can find a good bike shop that has that tire. These tires on the trike, they cost about as much as uh, some car tires to cost. So they're a little more expensive, supposedly better. The front two are okay, but the back one has worn down pretty quickly. Um, it ha carries more weight, and you know it's part of the uh, whole propulsion system. You know it, it has a lot more pressure put on it. So hopefully it'll hold out until we get to Seattle, though. Mr. Cooper, my old guy, my old buddy. And little Twinkies in there, hogging the pillow. So we're about ready to get going, get rolling, hit the road. And I will talk to you all later.